Now let's look at the patient provider consultation app. Instead of speaking with a chatbot, this app uh, is where you will sp be speaking with another person. So let me go ahead and start a conversation from the mobile application. So we'll go ahead and sign in. And it gives us a warning, this app does not substitute for going to your healthcare provider, blah, blah, blah. Once um, you're in here and you don't have any conversations, it'll say you, you haven't posted any questions to the provider yet, use the button above to go ahead and start one. So let's go ahead and ask a simple question. Um, we'll say, my child has a fever. At what point should I go to the doctor? So we've submitted a question here. Um, my child has a fever. Uh, you can see I typed it, and so there's obviously some typos. Um, and once we submitted that to the service, it automatically showed up in the provider dashboard, which we've got uh, right here and I can pull up the conversation and I can begin this thread. Let me go ahead and close the app because when I respond, you'll see that we get a push notification. Um, you should go to the doctor if the fever is prolonged or over 102 degrees. And you can see right here we've got the um, response or the push notification that a provider has responded to your question. And so we'll go back into the app and let's go ahead and refresh and you can see we've got the alert. Um, my child has a fever. At what point should I go to the doctor? We'll go in and you can see um, Go to the fever, or sorry, go to the doctor if it's prolonged or over 102 degrees. Let's go ahead and send another message. Um, if you have a fever of 104 or greater, go to the hospital immediately. And you can see that that showed up um, automatically on the um, on the thread that we have right here. And we can post a response and I'll say just thank you. And you can see that that showed up on the provider dashboard.